Welcome everybody to A Plan With Me, the second of the year here in my vertical neutral Erin Condren. And the kit I'm using this week is a new one that I've just released in my store using Purchase Clip Art, one of the first ones I'm releasing. It is called Romance. It is a floral, beautiful dream. I think it'd be amazing for Valentine's spreads, but to be honest, I couldn't wait that long to use it because it's just so pretty. I love me some floral, feminine, pretty stuff and why wait, you know? Um, I am obviously firstly laying down my date covers for from the kit and I have used the date dots on a clear overlay that are foiled with gold from my store. They're one of the foiled items that I am keeping in store so I don't have my foil um, overlay individual sheets permanently up. They are kind of a special occasion type thing that I will put up. The things I am keeping though are the little divider tabs for dividers in your personal planners. Um, the date dots because they're just so versatile and I like mine if I'm honest. Um, and also the overlay kits. So the full kit overlays, um, you can get them. They're part of my permanent range. Um, laying down my full boxes, I just love these patterns. Um, I actually had used this art three years ago when I first opened Blackbird Print Co. And I just, my, I guess, aesthetic of designing has evolved so much since then. So it's really exciting to have designed this kit and just love how it looks. Plus that really graphic bold black and white chevron in the bottom washi with the floral accents, just super, super pretty. Um, I'm color blocking with my glitter headers rather than kind of spacing them out in some complicated pattern. Not that left to right is complicated, but <laughs> give me that. Um, so this time just laying down glitter headers and color blocking each day and I like how it turned out. It's just a different and simpler way to do it but really pretty and obviously the colors are pulled straight from the art in the kit so made it really nice and consistent which I love. Um, wow this year has been off to a hell of a start. <laughs> um, obviously the last week of 2018 was a bit of a bust, it was really really rough. Um, I've actually published a vlog um, for the, pr the first week of the year and I kind of touch on it then but we had death in the family, we had a sick dog, we had witnessing traumatic incidents and then I broke my hand. So the whole time, just, just watch, the whole time I am filming this, I had a broken hand. That right hand there is broken right in the middle. And it really hurt, but I just powered on through because I was like, oh, maybe I'm just being a wimp. Um, I'm using glitter headers. Now these glitter headers with this confetti kind of on the um, each edge um, are from Monique Plans. Um, really, really pretty, nice quality, clear overlays with foiling that you can get here in Australia. So check out Monique Plans on Etsy if you haven't already. Unfortunately, like there's four sections in the in them. The top right section um, of the headers wasn't cut, which is really weird. Like it was scored, it had obviously gone through the silhouette, um, but they wouldn't peel up at all, no matter what I tried. Um, it's totally not her fault. This kind of thing happens with silhouettes. I'm telling you, as a store owner, they do some weird stuff and you can't peel each and every sticker to check that they're fine. 75% um, of the sheet was 100% fine, as you can see. It was just those ones I couldn't work with. Um, I tried again and again because I was like, it was annoying me, but it is what it is and I am not at all worried about it. I know if I um, told my Nick, she'd be like sending out a replacement, but like I was only going to use them for this one spread, so I do not need any more. Um, so I had the perfect amount to cover all of the glitter headers anyway, and add that nice little foil touch, which I was very happy to do. Um, what do I do next? Sidebar. So I added in um, some... I'm flipping and looking at my planner. Plenty of black in the sidebar, actually, because I feel like the sidebar of a spread just kind of anchors it. I mean, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's me overthinking things, but I feel like a lot of black in there, a nice solid sidebar is a really cool way to go. And using the sidebar checklist under the habit tracker, and for that, just tracking things for next week. Um, I like to have an idea of what's coming the week ahead before I've planned it, because I don't plan too far ahead. I plan maybe a couple of days ahead of the week, so it's good to have an idea of major things that are coming up. Um, from there, <clears throat> excuse me, I went ahead and laid down a quarter, what are the quarter box glitter dipped headers in black with the black glitter top and bottom, not that you can see it on the camera, but I'm telling you it looks really pretty in real life. And this little to-do um, gold foil overlay that I created, um, and unfortunately that set is not listed for sale in my store. 
and a checklist for some major goals for the week and just finishing it off with a black glitter header just to tie it up. Um, putting in here some work labels to note my shifts because I am a shift worker so my work is all over the place. Um, I put one of these in and write down the time of the shift so it could be morning shift and night shift anywhere in between. Um, those uh, little headers for work are from my store. Um, they're part of my functional range and you can get them in 17 different colours. I love the black one because it goes with almost anything but um, if you want to pick them up there they are. And these little knife and fork meal um, stickers from Arctic Paper Studio in gold foil were perfect to note down dinners for the week. Then going in and putting in more of the, I guess, things that I have to remember. I'm hoping, I remember coming in and out of focus on a lot of this, so I hope it's not. So marking on Tuesday that I want to upload my plan with me, which is what I'm doing the voiceover on right now. And then Monday upload vlog. Um, I actually ended up uploading the vlog the day before, so on Sunday night, just because I knew I wouldn't have a whole lot of time to do it Monday morning. Um, so those are in there, and those little girls on their laptop are from uh, Fox and Cactus, and this change sheets sticker is from. I think it's Love Shira is the name of the store. I think she's in the US and she has really pretty hand-drawn um, scripts, um, some of them including illustrations. So putting in a box down here with a little, um, and yeah, I've stuffed it up, obviously you can see me peeling it up, but I used one of my little um, push pin overlays. Didn't like the fact that I wrote everything wrong as so I've replaced it with a pattern half box because there was plenty of them in the kit for me to use and trying to choose a TV sticker out of my sticker storage, which I hardly ever show these days, but um, I might do it more often because it's not as annoying when it's sped up. Um, and one of these little TV watching mermaids to mark Outlander, season four episode, uh, I couldn't remember the episode number, so um, I'll fill that in later. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving Outlander. It's one of those shows I binge. Um, Outlander and like Game of Thrones are the kind of shows where I'm never behind. I'm always up to date, so um, I can't wait for Game of Thrones to come back. Um, on Wednesday I've put in a half box and in that a little gold foiled print and cut sticker again from Arctic Paper Studio because um, Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be days off for me and that's definitely what I want to do on Wednesday is print and cut and stock up. Um, and unfortunately I am out of frame here but I am have trimmed one of my checklists and done a little today section with a checklist down the bottom of Wednesday to get some some practical stuff done using a blank header from the kit and a little gold today overlay again. Um, quarter box going in there on Thursday and stacking a little um, bin uh, sticker from the kit and a little flag. Didn't quite work size wise but it's okay to mark that it's been night um, and I think I check yep I <laughs> checked that last week was the normal bin and this one will be recycled it's something about shift work I cannot keep track week by week of which week it is so that definitely helps me and then pulling in another quarter box with the glitter surround and a pack orders label from Arctic Paper Studio as I'll be filling orders um, Thursday evening <laughs> Another quarter box going in on Saturday and pulling in another little laptop girl, this time the blonde hair with the purple outfit, so it still kind of matches, um, from Fox and Cactus for film and editing my plan with me for the following week, because I do have Saturday off so I can do it then, and then pulling in a work label uh, there for Sunday, and by work I mean Blackbird Print Co work um, and put there to prep the next week's releases. This is the off week. I do releases um, fortnightly and this is the week that there aren't any releases. Next week there will be so I may as well prep them ahead of time. I'm using plenty of these little gold foiled um, swash overlays from Monique Plans. They're just a really pretty little detail laying them over some of the darker boxes just to break things up and add a little more shine. Actually remembering my weekend banner for the first time in weeks. I normally forget to put the weekend banner in and it's not till I'm editing I go what the hell and just adding some deco guys thank you so much for watching this plan with me sorry it's a little bit vague but that's the nature of planning I don't know 100% what I'm doing until I'm doing it thanks for watching I'll catch you next week